Hello everybody, welcome back. Deadman9001, voice of the Gresham Faria channel here on YouTube and the Deadman9001 stream on Twitch TV. We're at war! For this little province here. I thought, at the beginning when I declared this war, that Assam, being allied, would not be able to travel through Kachar, because they're rivaled. And they would have to get access through Mongyang which they don't have, or Bengal, which they probably wouldn't get because they also have to go through Koch. Pegu joined the war. They rivaled with Tongu, got, got access, and went right through. Well, Assam didn't get access at all. I don't think they did. They went straight through and went after me. I'm like, wait, what? So rivals are giving away access to land, which makes no sense. Also, because of this war was going on, Arakan and Lana declared on Tangu, who I was trying to, you know, eventually vassalize, but they they went all to the war. I saw seven, five, seven against my seven thousand. I was going to be done if I joined this. We would have had eleven hundred. I forgot about Lanjang. Lanjang. Um, has gone to town so far over here with them. And his Hiswani joined in because he's like, all right, I see that I can get fun with my rival here by allying his former rival, Tangu. And does it, and then gets to join the war and gets to join in the fun. So that's why Tangu is still in this area. Now this alliance here has all their troops over here while Lanjang has all their troops over here. So this is all unprotected. If I really want to, I can declare war for, against Yang. That's not going to do me well, because these guys are all going to join in. Because they're already at war again with each other. So, anyway, without further ado, we're going to unpause. We're going to at least stay with this war here for now. I have 2,000 troops here. I have the 3,000 here, so I'm going to send these guys up. No? Oh, you're going to come down. You're going to come for a party. They're still coming. <laughs> oh, he's going to just hang here? It's not even going to move anywhere else? Now, if I attack him in Naga... I'm not sure that Pegu will join with its 8,000 troops up here, or the 1,000 down here. We're reinforcing quite a bit, to be honest. And I think I can do war tax? Yes. Get the war taxes in. Reduce the inflation a little bit. So we're currently improving our relations with Nepal. Of course, that's that might go down, <laughs> down the drain real quick. We are making money again. And we're pretty much done reinforcing, it looks like. Well, most of the army's gonna get fully reinforced here. So there we go. We have our 3,000 here. No leader. We're almost done with that siege, and they're kind of starting to get ready to march. So we have 7,000 troops kind of at the ready. Really, we only have about 5,000 at the ready. If we can finish this siege, that'll be great. For the Buddhist faith, our rivals we have improved relations with. Oh, we have won the siege there. Let's head this way. And they're going to come down this pike here. I think once you hit over here, we're going to go into Naga. Let's go for it. Are they going to beat me here first? They might. Nope. We beat them into here first. And they joined in. So we had similar troop numbers, but we just kind of wrecked them. And they 
they got wrecked. Go this way. Go this way. We will full siege you. <laughs> or at least destroy what armies you have left. And since this isn't the end of the month, we did it. Look at that squish squish. And we're not getting negatively affected right now. The army maintenance. Although, that's probably going to happen soon. Yep. Goodness. Also, the Manipuri nationalists are... Oh, okay. That's why they keep clamoring for independence. Because our culture is not the right culture. Go away. We will accept your culture soon enough. So this is getting sieged. Anything else happening with this? Who else is sieged? Oh, they finally full sieged them. Wow. So the tides have kind of turned. Is Mon Yang doing anything else? No. What's going on with them? No, not the history. The ledger will be nice. Let's go down and take a look. Wan Yang has only 3,000 troops and they have very low manpower. Let's see. Who else is in this? Uh, Lan Na. They've got 6,000 troops hanging around. Well, Lan Jang has a lot. And they have quite a few, but they're on the other side. And they have about 6,000, so... It's still a doom stack that we have to face. I don't think Pegu would join in a war if we went to war with them. Nope, Pegu wouldn't join. Lan Na wouldn't join either. But these guys would. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> I love how we're, like, winning this siege. Oh, it's because we have the general here. Is he good with... No, he has no good siege. So why is he winning a siege so heavily over here? I don't even know. So Assam's going to get full siege, and then Sadia is going to get full siege as well. We don't really need to. We can just kind of hold on to them for a little bit and see how this battle, this whole war goes. They've pretty much split the army to kind of carpet siege. Oh, we also have the walls busted, so that might be why. They're trying to get this back. Now, this is the war goal, so let's see. Tangu is, and his alliance, is losing it because of the occupation. And because of the control, they gain, you know, 1.2 war score per month. Us, we're getting what? Um, we're getting 3.2 war score. discovered new things we know about them we know about that we know about that so we know about these more now still don't know a lot about other things will Nepal be an ally probably not right now they also oh they would accept if we weren't at war and Assam wants us to let them go for 14 ducats. You know what? No, I'm sure I can milk you for more because we're about to finish the siege. <laughs> Aww. Well, we failed the siege, so I guess not. This is a wasteland, apparently. Which makes sense. It's mountains. 
the Himalayas right there. There's a lot of wasteland over here. Oh, we have the battles happening. I was about to say, that can't be Tungu's whole army right there. So, we're going to head in here. I'm going to finally um, cancel our military access through them. We don't really need it. Also, let's see. Bengal's kind of mad at us. They will be a little bit more upset. So, why don't we improve their relations before they think of coalition time? <laughs> We're not going to annex any of this up here. Um, you're not giving us any money right now. That's not a good I good thing. You know, what? why don't we super Well, hold on. Diplomatic tech. Let's improve it. Super peace. What can we get for you? Um, I could fall an X, but I don't want to. I want you to get rid of your alliance with. Well, not Nepal. I don't really care about that. Yeah, you can be my vassal. There you go. How about you be my vassal? Sounds good to me. It's gonna get negative 73. Just gonna make everybody else. We don't have enough Diplo to do it. Boo. Well, if you can see defeat, give me five ducats. You only have five ducats. If you give me five ducats to be my vassal, I'll be happy. There you go. Is there any point to it? I mean, he doesn't have any claims anywhere, so I don't really think I'm gonna vassalize him. We're just going to pretend that that's going to be a thing. Wow, this, this, I would say, Western Alliance here has done well for itself so far. Despite the Eastern Alliance's um, armies, you would think that Senwi would just be like, Hey Ming, want to join? Oh man, this this would be so tempting to do. We already have Pegu here, but they're not going to join this war if we declare it. No, because they're they're not interested in it. I'm going to improve some more relations with them. Then might as well. We're making quite a bit of ducats. We're also quite losing quite a bit of manpower. Let's see. And now he's just... We're, we'll concede defeat. White peace. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think if you just give me all the ducats you have... We'll, f we'll full peace. We will wipe peace out. Oh yeah, we don't have any diplomats. <laughs> um, I'm going to return you guys. And see what Assam will take now. I know they will take this, but we don't have the diplo points to spend on it. So we're gonna we're gonna give up that idea. How much more gold did you get? Only one ducat. Um, war reparations. We can't we can't tell them to just concede defeat. Apparently, that's not a thing that can happen. So you can make them concede defeat, but as soon as we throw money in there, it's a different peace offer. That, that's kind of dumb. I'll just do this for formalities. It gives us more prestige. 
Why not? Can we still we can still vassalize them. We can still do all this. It's gonna cost us forty five diplo points. And that's just piecing them out. What will, what will we get? Oh, we need 45 to do that as well. So we can force them to concede defeat. This has, this has the makings of a lot of lot of prestige. If we can beat them down here. Oh, the Western, the Eastern Alliance is winning. And Nepal is actually doing okay against their rebels. Some. What do you want? No. You're not getting what you want. Huh. So this whole alliance here is fairly weak. At this point, if I really want to, I can just hop right on and just wreck Wan Yang. Arakan will actually will probably still join the war, which is kind of depressing. I don't want them to do that. Oh, we've beaten Sadia. What do you want? You will pay me 48 ducats. That's a lot of ducats. Well, if I take you as vassal, I could just give you over to my vassal. I'll be fine. I don't care. I can vassalize you. Hooray! So this peace deal can happen. And how many more ducats? Eight ducats. Go right ahead. And we can separate peace with you, right? Um... I can't full an X because it takes too much. How much gold? Could I get off you? Is it really worth it? No. Here we go. Just concede defeat. That's fine. I don't care. And finally, full annex. And now uh, we won't spend any more. We've done it! <laughs> We've done it. So now Tripura is one of ours, our provinces. Actually, I'm going to keep you up here. We're going to core this. We can't that we can vassalize Tongu is apparently a no we can't they don't have an army left but yeah Arakan doesn't have an army either can I go to war I have to wait for my diplo to get back but first before we do that what's the heat heat map looking like um, Assam's mad you're mad you're mad you don't care. Nepal's mad. Ah, uh, okay. So all of the Hindu culture is mad at me. Which means if I go to war with them, that means that all of the Buddhists are going to get mad at me. The risk I'm willing to take. Let's declare war. Pegu will join. And that, my friend, is all that I care. Alright guys, well, we've just declared a secondary war. We've pretty much won most of our other wars here. We are going to at least, you know, get some of this. Maybe not full and X for now, but we'll get something out of them. I do thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Sorry for the longer episode than before, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.